Hey y'all, this is Deja and I'm back with another video. It's been a while since I made a sit down and talk video. This will be the start of a new series um, called, I, for now I'm calling it crochet review because that's literally what it is. Finding free crochet patterns on Pinterest, Instagram, all over the internet. Um, and I'll be testing it out on camera, filming myself as I'm going through the process, debriefing at the end with how I feel about the pattern, do I think you guys should try it out, um, and so on and so forth. So <laughs> since we are in the month of October, next week is Halloween, so I wanted to do something Halloween themed. I'll be doing a ghost pattern. If you are interested in seeing more of these, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any patterns that you want me to test out for you guys. Go ahead and get into what pattern I'm going to be using. So this is the pattern I'll be using. Um, it's by Whimsically Yarn Creations. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. So I don't think I'll be doing this, well, maybe I'll make the little bow just in a different color because I don't have blue. Um, I do have pink, so maybe I'll make it in pink. As far as the specs, I'm gonna follow it as closely as I possibly can. Um, I don't have a 5.5 millimeter hook, but I do have a five. So I'm gonna use that one. Um, 16 millimeter eyes. They're using the Parfait Chunky Yarn, which I don't have that brand exactly, but I do have, um, I think it's pronounced Burnett, like the, it's not the velvet one. Um, I think it's like the blanket yarn. I'm not sure because I already took the tag off of it, but it's from what I can tell in like other videos that I've seen of people comparing the two, it's relatively similar. Um, so I'll be using that yarn because it's the closest that I have. So this, this is the brand it was, brand and the type. All right, so we're gonna start with the arms. We're gonna make two of them. So round one, we're gonna start with the magic ring and do five single crochet. And then rows three and four, we're just going to do a single crochet in every stitch. Right, and then we're going to decrease twice and then do six single crochets. And then we'll do two rows of eight single crochets. So it does say to stuff the hand lightly. <clears throat> and then four single crochets. And they're round, I guess. And then it says to flatten and make four single crochets across. But wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Four single crochets. This way, I guess. Flatten and single crochet across. This is. So I'm gonna pass it off and leave this to sew it on. So I'll make one more. Okay, now we're gonna start on the head and body. So it says start with white stuff as you go. So round one, magic ring with six crochet, six single crochet in it. Stitch. 
three, we're gonna do the same with crochet and increase. I repeat that six times. Single crochet and increase. So I just finished row 15. I am going on to row 16 and then we'll have 20 more rows left. So it's just stuff as you go, so I'm going to do that now. And I'm very iffy about my eyes because I don't have the size that I need. These are the biggest ones I have out of this entire thing. So... I guess this is gonna be fine. I can't really um but we're supposed to put it between the rows eleven and twelve, so let me do that before I forget again. And here's Mr. Frog that I made in the first video I recorded. You know, I love that this said mini, but like, this is kind of big. <laughs> like when I thought mini, I was thinking like this size, like it can fit in my hand. The head fits in my hand, that's what she said. All right, now we're gonna do four rows of 30 single crochet. Finish with nine single crochet. Right. 
And then we'll do 20 single crochet. I messed up. Okay, so we gotta undo this because I messed up. So we're supposed to do seven single crochet, decrease four times, and then nine single crochet. Perfect. Now we do a round of 20. We're going to do one single crochet, decrease four times, and then three single crochets. I wrote that wrong. I'm going to row 34, not 35. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so I need to <laughs> redo it because I actually did it wrong. I was reading the wrong row. So I got to do four single crochet, four decrease, and then four single crochet. Um, I forgot I need to stuff this, so let me stuff it before I forget again. Alright, so now we do two single crochets and a decrease. And now we go the yarn, weave the ends, the remaining loops, and pull tight to close. It's kind of cute. Okay. Let's 
debrief go in a pattern. Here's the I forgot how many but none got on here. Here's the finished theme. It's cute. I like it. It's much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be kind of small, like palm size. We'll be putting this on my Etsy probably for about $30. It is more narrow than the one from the pattern or like the sample picture that they showed. Um, the body's more narrow. It's probably just a tension issue on my end. As far as the pattern goes, it's very simple and easy to follow. I give it honestly a 10 out of 10 on that. And a bonus point because it gives directions for the assembly and where exactly they say to put each piece. So like the arms, it says to put between rounds 20 and the two decreases you made in round five. Um, I didn't do that. I think it's in the same area, but it's because I sewed these on before I even got to that part. I kind of jumped the gun. I do appreciate that it provides like instructions as to where the arms should go versus just guesstimating, which most of the patterns I've made with sewn on any type of arms or legs. I have to guesstimate it. <laughs> I give them an extra point for that. I wouldn't necessarily call this mini. I feel like this is kind of like a medium or like a normal size. I would say meat mini would be like half this size. Keep in mind I use a smaller crochet hook. They used 5.5 millimeter hook. I used the 5 millimeter hook. Um, so if I would have used a hook half size bigger maybe the width would have been what it was supposed to be but overall I actually give this pattern a 10 out of 10 with the extra point it's an 11 out of 10 for me I highly recommend it um just definitely make sure you have the correct size eyes because I didn't pattern is so easy to follow it also includes um directions to sew on the pieces that you need to sew on which most of the patterns that I've personally seen and used don't have that. You kind of just got to guess where to add it on. As long as you know how to increase, decrease, do a single crochet um, and a triple or treble crochet, you should be fine. So cute and a little bow tie. But this will be on my Etsy shop. As, as against doing something as basic I guess you can say is a ghost I'm actually happy I did it it's very cute I will be selling this I do actually have one more thing I wanted to show y'all this is well the pattern I used said it is a cuttlefish I don't really know what a cuttlefish looks like but it's cute <laughs> I made it from that pattern that may be the next crochet review I end up using this is a very simple pattern it's pretty quick um, the only thing that's kind of annoying is sewing on the ears, but other than that, it's pretty easy. This will also be on my Etsy. I will be selling this for about $20. Yeah, I'll be selling this for about $20 Far on my Etsy. I will have Ted the Thick Toad going for $15. I don't have a name for this cuttlefish, but this cuttlefish is going to be $20 and I'll be selling this ghost for $30. Just it. Link is in the description below to my Etsy shop. And if you're interested in using this pattern, I will leave their information in the description. I'll leave a direct link to the pattern as well as their socials because they also put it on here as well, I believe. <laughs> I love this. It's, it's very cute. Um, is the end of this video if you guys like this video please 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 like this video if you want to see more of these videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video i'm still trying to work out the details as far as what day of the week that these videos will be going up leaning towards posting these on tuesdays get around the morning time because majority of the time i'll probably be at work when it goes up if you've been here for a while that my channel has now morphed into crochet with me's for the most part since i will be doing these crochet reviews posting them on tuesdays i will also be posting uh basically a crochet with me of me using the pattern to make the project i'll be posting that on thursdays 
Tuesday is gonna be the crochet review and then on Thursday will be the crochet with me. If you guys have any um, suggestions as far as any patterns you want me to try out, please put them in the comments down below and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye. Squint, stop.